As uh, all of us have walked through the experience here at the show, uh, we're starting to see a green leaf and a green sign or something somewhere about sustainability and what's going on. But the real core function here is to help us understand a little bit more about the business sector of it. Is it's more than just about uh, saving the planet and uh, resources, but kind of about taking a look at the entire business model. Our consumers, are people really interested in what's going on? When we kind of take a look at where the industry seems to be moving, it helps us a little bit to try to find out where our industry is going. And I think sometimes we get lost in it being about the planet and forgetting that it's really about humankind. Part of the goals end up being that we're trying to make sure that the uh, resources and the buildings are efficient and healthy and durable and safe. As a country that consumes as much energy as we do, uh, the United States consumes about a quarter of the world's energy with only 5% of the world's population. So we're learning how to take a look at our lifestyle and what's going on in the marketplace. The other piece is that the perception about green is that it's about bamboo floors and having a green couch in the living room. And we've realized that it is a lot more than that. It isn't about just a product. It's really about a process. And these happen to be an example of some houses that are in um, Denver, Colorado. And what's interesting about this is you see this kind of movement away from uh, the, the house with the garage in the front that's the primary thing. And uh, somehow behind the garage is a house. And you watch this old traditional idea in the model of moving the house really towards the street to build community. You see something that's quite unique, it's called a sidewalk. It's for people to actually uh, interact with their neighborhoods. And so many communities didn't have sidewalks for years. So we're really finding a way to put the garages in the back, the resources, the efficiency of the house, the efficiency of the enclosure. And this is what we're finding out that people are really enjoying. They walk through the model and they feel a completely different approach. As they walk through, it seems more like community in a, in a house product than it does about saying, oh, I'm doing something for the environment. So in terms of how our industry sees green, the home building industry sees green, we're taking a look at some interesting numbers. In terms of the economics of it, we're seeing that the mig migration of uh, investment and, sp and money spent on green has gone up considerably. You can see that the projections through McGraw-Hill by 2012 shows that somewhere around a $70 billion industry should be developing over the next few years. So part of our responsibility is to say, how do we capture a segment of that? We only need a percent or two of that and uh, finding out a way to make sure are we positioned correctly for the right messaging and making sure that the consumers are moving in that direction. We also believe we're well past a tipping point. Almost all uh, periodicals and information that we're seeing says we're beyond the idea whether it makes sense. Now we have to find a way of integrating it into our business. Um, we've also learned that in a tight market like we're in now, the building industry believes that it's easier to sell green than it is anything else because it gives them something else to discuss. Now we're not talking about are you offering me 30000 off and say, how do I get you better connected to why you're here? What is it that you'd like to do about moving out of the house that you're in now? Um, it's easier, they say, to sit on the couch than it is to go out and look for a new house. So I've got to do something compelling to get me out. And as they come to that model center and somebody says, I can't wait to tell you how exciting it is to see what we have to offer. This more healthy building, the safer building, this more efficient building. 30% less energy to operate, but let's take a look at the kitchen. Let's look at the function of space. How when you walk in the front door, it opens up. The cabinets, the place is something different than where you are now. They say that we buy an emotion and justify in fact. We want to create an emotional connection that as we show them the features and the benefits, as we look through the booth, you'll see remarkable new appliances and features that are demonstrating incredible savings of both water and energy. And I think people have a great connection to that to say, you know what, I'd like to do that if I could and make a difference.